Yeah, I'm full of beans today. Uh, 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 uh. Well, you <laughs> will be soon, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. You're gonna bamboozle me. Ooh. Ooh. This is content, guys. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Uh, will, how long have we known each other? We have known each other for over 16, 17 years. Yep. Nearly a two decades. Mm -hmm. Since 2007, if uh, my since count old, is correct. Since the old Newgrounds days, for sure. That's how we met. We met on Newgrounds. And, you know, they say there aren't even marriages that last that long, let alone friendships. So None of my relationships have lasted longer. This is true. I, I've known you long enough to see you go through two proposals. And yes. not marry either of them. Moving on. <laughs> <Let's>, uh... <laughs> so with, with that in mind, the, the truest test of a friendship is a pop quiz. Trying to remember every stupid, innate detail that they've ever brought up to you at an inconvenient time. And that's what this video is all about. Two truths and a lie. Exactly. Two truths and a lie. Everyone knows this game by now. And some YouTubers try to mix it up a little, like dabbing hot sauce. Lie some more. <laughs> well, oh yeah, yes. sauce, for sure. and then apologize after <laughs> do you have a ukulele will yeah yeah well i got a few guitars in here if that suffices i don't know how well that'll go we'll do that later but yes usually youtubers like to spice it up a little like i don't know dab some hot sauce or uh shock each other with those little uh, lie detector things but today we decided well we'll just keep it a little simple and we're going to make this a bean boozled edition or masochist for those who don't know, Will, why don't you enlighten the people of what exactly bean boozling is? Bean boozling. You basically have these things right here with a mixture of different flavors for those beans. And as you pull one out, you don't know what flavor you're going to get. And the catch is, you either get a decent flavor or a fucking horrifying one. For instance, we have such things as cappuccino, which I guess was one of those that is a very mid flavor. But you've got, let's see. I like berry blue flavor, for instance. Berry blue is wonderful, but I'm not exactly looking great at barf. So from liver and onions to cappuccino to old bandages to pomegranates, we got it all in here. Basically, it's like the beans in Harry Potter, but without the transphobia. We're getting ahead of ourselves. I want to lie to Will, and I'm sure Will wants to lie to me. So No, uh, uh yes. <laughs> yes, I do. Let's get started. I think... You should do the honors. Challenge me. All right. Okay. Fair enough. So I got my questions right here. I we have these written down, ladies and gentlemen, because we're old and need things written down. <laughs> I've never been afraid of Furbies. I was almost in an Oni Plays animation, and I used to make websites for a Range Rover during an apprenticeship. Okay. I definitely know the Oni one is correct because uh, you were you were going to be in the Scooby Doo one. If I remember. Was it Scooby-Doo? I think it was because I remember you had a clip that Oni had sent you of like, Hey, I'm Fred from Scooby-Doo! And like, that was because you were supposed to play one of those characters. I do know you were supposed to be in an Oni cartoon, but it didn't It didn't happen. Okay, um, okay. Let's see. I swear, I remember you had a Furby, and I, I swear you did. I swear you had a Furby, because I think you told a story about... That the, the Furby would make noises late at night and freak you out? <laughs> uh, no, not necessarily freak me out. Mostly, like, you're just Furby. I did have a family of Furbies, though. You did? Yeah. You had a family of them, and you it were... So, let's see. And the the Range Rover... Because th that one... That seems too hyper-specific for it not to be true. No, I was an apprenticeship. Um, if you remember, I was in Bradford College, and I used to know somebody, and it used to be in uh, apprenticeships and everything. So if you know that, like, I, I know that you know that I used to do a restaurant. I, I designed a restaurant for some. I, I uh, remember for, a lot of the, friends. like, odd jobs you had. Like, I know, I know you did a, uh, an animation for a radio DJ years ago. That was, like, one of your first paid gigs for animation. That's right, yeah. I think that's still on Newgrounds. I think it is, yeah. But if I'm, did I get that right? Any of those? I need your final answers, though. I need okay. your final answers. So what's your verdict on the Furbies? You were scared of Furbies. What's your verdict on the Oni plays? That is true. You were in an Oni plays. Well, it was going to be, but it didn't happen. And the uh, Range Rover apprenticeship. You, I think you absolutely did that. So you were correct on the Oni plays animation. Mm-hmm. 
That is right. Uh, I uh, Chris O'Neill uh, a long while ago, as you went by Chris, just Chris O'Neill, yeah. um, was doing a, a Scooby Doo animation. It's a really short one, I and he right. wanted me to be Shaggy. That's, he wanted me of to go. Oh, like been Scoob! Oh, like what a huge dick you've got! <laughs> Stuff like that. Like that's what he wanted me to do. It never made it, unfortunately. But yeah, there you go. Uh, unfortunately. The Furbies one was the truth. I was never afraid of Furbies. Yeah. <laughs> and the lie was that I did not do Range Rover website apprenticeships. However, during the apprenticeship, Range Rover, I did do a digital animation board for them in their Bradford Institute. Unfortunately, tricky, tricky. unfortunately, I never, it never took off. I so, swear uh, you were afraid of Furbies because, like, you played nope. Tattletale and everything. So I, th I felt like you would have had Tattletale. Like was definitely well I mean it's Furbies but they're scary Touché. but Furbies in my family we used to laugh at Furbies we used to <laughs> like we weren't necessarily afraid of them it's, it's funny because everybody brings up the conversation like oh my god Furbies were terrifying I loved Furbies I thought they were great <laughs> when I was younger that's fair all right well I fucked up so it's bean boozle time let's there see what I get it's a well it's pink uh that uh -oh. looks like Pink isn't even a color on here. I have no idea what this is going to be. Could just stop that. Pink is not a color. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out. Okay. I lucked out. Oh. I th this is like bubble gum. <laughs> this is like really sweet. What you got was probably tutti frutti. Yeah, this Does is definitely very fruity. it got a little bit of fruity. a fruity zest to it? Yeah. Whew. Okay, you All got right. tutti frutti. This is like Russian roulette. I missed the bullet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. All right. Now it's my turn to challenge you. Oh, dear. When I was a kid, I had a dog named Chip. Mm. When I was a, a teenager, I had a cat named Audrey. But when I was five, I had a turtle named Michelangelo. <sighs> You see, the turtle with Michelangelo is, like, very present you. That would be something you would have as a pet, as a name. Mm. Although I know your pets right now. You're, you're like... You know my current I, pets, I, I, yeah, yeah. But do you remember yeah. any of my... Any of the you know, other ones. A lot, a lot of these would have been when we were friends. <laughs> I don't remember you having a cat called Audrey. And I met you in the teenage stages. Mm. I don't remember. Wait, so the, it was a, a teenage you were... It was a cat called Audrey. Yes. In your kidhood was was what, sorry? Uh, when I was a kid, like, uh, I guess you could say, like, ten. Uh, I had ten. a dog named Chip. Dog named Chip. I, I believe that. I believe that. I remember, we've been in conversations before about mm. old pets. It's all passing stuff. And, and it's, uh, I remember Chip. I don't remember Audrey. And mm. I knew you. When I met you, it was sort of our teenagehood. Mm -hmm. And we'd go on for hours about stuff. I don't remember that. And yet, the turtle, I've never seen you with a turtle either. <laughs> but it was, but it's called Michelangelo. <laughs> so was it you who named the turtle? Well, I would have named all these pets, yeah. Oh, you named, okay. Hmm. Did you, did you, did you, were you not like, when you were five, surely you wouldn't have named Michelangelo. And if, well, I mean, Ninja five. Turtles was very popular when I was five. I but hmm, that could have been your dad. You might have had a turtle, but it, it, you, and it might have been Michelangelo. And I suppose the question is, you didn't think of the name, so mm -hmm. I couldn't even call you that either. <sighs> Fuck. All right, so. Well, let's let's get I'm gonna, some final answers. All right, I'm gonna make my verdict. All and, right. And I, I, okay, so I believe Chip is true. Mm -hmm. I believe. You know what? No, I believe Audrey's true, and the Michelangelo turtle was a lie. You are correct, actually. Yes! <laughs> you actually I don't remember it. Audrey, but I remember you uh, had a cat. Uh, Audrey was sadly short-lived compared to Chip, because Chip would have been oh, a bigger right. part of, you know, your perspective of my life at the time. The Michelangelo was completely made up. I've never owned a turtle. Oh, yeah. I was going <laughs> to say, like, I pride that. I'm like, at five, wait a minute. <laughs> like, you just sit by the team, Michelangelo! That's a great idea for a turtle, son. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, again, because I thought, well, what would a what would a like a nerdy kid name a turtle? He'd probably name it after a Ninja Turtle, right? Because when I was five, Ninja Turtles was still very popular. That's so, very true. It's very yeah. true. All right, well, you actually aced that one, so no beans for you. Oh man, <laughs> <laughs> he's just can you, you can believe that, folks? He's disappointed that he doesn't get I'm a bean. I'm disappointed that I didn't get a bean. I'll, right. I'll have I'll have at least one later. All right, so here we go. I'm challenging you now. Challenge time! Challenge time. All right, so, after my first breakup, 
I made at least 20 songs during the Land of Hell venting about her. Iris was originally a tech company idea before it was ever used as a spiritual successor to Onyx Colony. And I farted so loud in a church, it made everyone laugh, and I was on a one-month ban. This was when I was a kid. <laughs> I want the fart one to be true so badly. <laughs> you have no I, I idea. Mean, school times were weird, man. Like, I was at, it was in Catholic school. I was in okay. Ye uh, one called Yeet in Westfield. Now, and, uh, yeah. The breakup one is complicated because I was... I remember cuz I'm assuming it's it's uh the mother of your of Jess that we're talking about. No, no, the, no I'm talking about my first ever. Oh, girlfriend. so it's even before that cuz yeah, I remember yeah. that one more, unfortunately. For like it's it's not unheard of for artists to write breakup songs. To write 20 of them, I don't know. We but, have Taylor <laughs> Swift. <laughs> I mean, that's 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 true. 20 breakup songs. The Iris one Iris would sound like a tech company, and I know you've always had, like, you've envisioned, like, running stuff like that, like either a game company or just, like, a, you right. know, some kind of, you know, something like that. So I would 100% believe that. Mm -hmm. uh, well, yeah. This may be stupid of me, but this, these are my final answers. Okay, I think, go on. I think the breakup 20 songs is true. I think mm -hmm. the Iris being a tech company before it became... A, a music project is true. I think the farting is a lie. And those are your final answers. Those are my final answers. You're correct on every one of them. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're correct on every Man, one. Man, I them. wanted the fart to be real. I want. Look, it's believable. I was in it is. Westfield Catholic School, and while I might have farted in a church, I definitely <laughs> did not. It's not, have it's it not heard. grounds for banning. <laughs> it was a silent but deadly one. I imagine. Just, just imagining, um, like, <laughs> may he speak now. <laughs> <laughs> Who did that? <laughs> <laughs> the Lord's breasts. <laughs> uh oh, so, um, but yeah, like the 20 songs thing, mm. I specifically said Land of Hell because that was mine and Joshua's uh, first ever project before it turned into Colony and then Onyx Colony. But during that that's period right, of time, right. I was writing a bunch of stuff. Uh, the Iris Tech Company, interesting, this is when. I just met you as well. Like I was, I was um, dating the mother of my child, and we mm. had a council house. And at one point, I was in games development, so it crossed my mind that like I was looking at all these computers that had the best tech, but they were so expensive. So it was my like guilty pleasure to just be like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a company that gives you all this stuff for much cheaper, <laughs> not knowing how economics. <laughs> not works. knowing how that works. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it was quickly a. I'm gonna run a I'm money like, store. You can get a dollar for a dollar. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like the uh, same idea. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And obviously, farting aloud in church would be an amazingly funny memory. But I don't have that many we, funny we, memories. You gotta do something with that. That's a that that's like a banterbation right there. What just what just go to no? I'll, all right, I thought you were gonna say just no actually no go to like a go go to it. Yes, loud. that's our next duck content. We go to a church and <laughs> yeah. fart in it. Unfortunately, I get no bean because I won. No bean. No bean. No bean. So now we're gonna try you again. This okay. one might be a little more challenging. One year, I got strep throat three times in one year i broke my right arm in kindergarten and i am since i was young i've been allergic to penicillin Ooh. okay so i remember there was a viral moment for a year strep you said yes yeah, strep throat strep throat i remember you saying you had problems with your throat for a while but I also remember you talked about your dental stuff. Like, mm. there was some sort of similarity with it. I don't know. And then there's... This is all medical. Yes, it's enough. all medical related. All medical. Um, I don't remember you... I think I remember a point where you used to say you've never broken a bone in your body. You've never broken a bone in your body, unless I'm solely mistaken. Get some final answers on you. All right. I, th I, think, I think the lie is the broken bone. I think everything else is true. You are correct. I've oh never my, broken yeah. a bone. I knew, yeah, I, I remember that was the common denominator. Was yep. the, We were and, all talking And here's one the point. thing. There's a, it's actually a clever twist because the strep throat thing, because yes, I did have strep throat like three times one year, 
penicillin is the often prescribed for strep throat. I'm allergic to the very thing. That was the problem. <laughs> it's all the lining up. Yeah. yeah, because it was the reason why for a whole year is because there was always a new thing that cropped up. was like, I'm not supposed to have these ones because I'm allergic to them. But I remember there was a conversation about the, uh, the broken bone stuff. We were all talking about how we've broken a bone. You're just like, I've never broken a bone. I wouldn't I've actually know. never broken I, a bone. I don't yeah. know how, but I haven't. I've never broken any kind of bone. Let's keep that good streak up, though. Well, with that, once again, you won. Looks like we're, so far, we're pretty good friends. <laughs> we're paying attention yeah. to shit. <laughs> I am ready for round three. All right. Are you ready? I am. At the Newgrounds London meet of 2009, I smoked outside with Hans Van Harken. I once tried to high-five a friend and accidentally slapped them in the face. <laughs> And I ran around as a homeless man in Bradford and had the police chase me. I know the London meet one is true because I remember that video. And it was then that I found out that you picked up smoking. I remember that mm -hmm. vividly. It may be a trick because I, I know Hans, been, it would make sense. Hans was a smoker. I, I say, well, I don't know if he still is, but Hans, I think he was. Well, Hans was a smoker. So that would make sense to be smoking with Hans Van Harken. What was the second one again? High five a friend and slap him in the friend. face by That's accident. That's very on brand for you. I would believe that. And <laughs> I know, I know you did Samuel Sherm's in public, which was your, like your your crazed homeless character. <laughs> Samuel Sherm's. <laughs> I don't think the police chased you, though. Because that's the thing. The, the, the UK police system is very like, oh, 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 oh. so, you know, I, I could believe they just see a maniac and immediately just send every fucking cop to them. <laughs> um, mm. But I don't think that's true. I, I, I think if it had happened, I would have seen it. <laughs> like, you would have shown it to me or told me that. Because I have no recollection of you ever saying such a story. I think you would have absolutely slapped someone in the face by accident when trying to high-five them, especially since you're quite tall. So, well, I am pretty tall, it's true. All right, I think my final answers are the first one's true. Yeah. The second one's true. The third one's a lie. And those are your final answers. Those are my final answers. Well, the Hans Van Harken one was true. Thought so. I did not slap somebody in the face by accident. <laughs> which means I was chased by police in Bradford for my Samuel Sherms. You were chased by cops. When I you was did that. chased by them. I was causing a disruptance. I was loud. And <laughs> if, you, if you remember, I picked it was for like a Red Nose Day charity thing at Bradford yeah. College. It was on my old channel. If you remember, you'll remember the bit where I'm like pretending that a smoke public smoke ashtray is an ATM and I'm just like shoving my card in it. I started like blowing smoke like, and I was running away. Somebody had alerted the police and they were chasing after me. What happened was I managed to get so far around a car, uh, a con uh, basically a street, that I took all the clothes off, ch chucked them, and they ran past me. And they even came back because they suspicious, they thought it was me. And they were like, you haven't seen uh, someone screaming around here, have you? I'm just like, oh no, no, I, I don't think I have. They turned around, I was like, oh wait, Wait, no, you mean like, I think they look pretty like rough, rough and everything? Yeah, they just went that way. <laughs> they fucking went that way and I just went on my merry way. <laughs> you literally pulled like a cartoon gag of, what, what? oh, he went over there. <laughs> I duped them, yeah. It you was the best. Them, you mother yeah, on Red Nose Day. And it was the most comical day. So it was, <laughs> it was appropriate. It was appropriate. You literally had like a Benny Hill moment. I did, I had a Benny Hill moment. All right, well, I oh, lost, yeah. so it's bean time. What are we getting bean this time? Bean time, bean time. What do we got? Well, it looks white with some spots. That looks like this will either be birthday cake or dirty dishwasher. Let's find out. Let's find out. It's birthday cake. Yes. Oh, yeah. There you oh, go. Yeah. You got the birthday cake. Round three, you, you're challenging me again. Yep. This. Uh, this I know my friends, I think. I, I, I think I know my friend pretty well, too. I've only lost twice. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you're all right. I have two nieces. I have three siblings. And I lived in a laundry room growing up. Okay, so, well, actually, starting with... Oh, that is difficult. I remember some laundry room. I don't remember you living in one. Because I saw your room, and this is... D particularly, this was kind of the start of your Criterion era. <laughs> uh, yeah, because like you were it was it Boston? Uh, no, where I no. Met in you? fact, you you never knew me in in Boston. This would have been New Hampshire. New Hampshire. Yeah, that's it. Same it. region. 
So you're, you're yeah. close. You were in New Hampshire before you moved to the western Arizona. part of the country. Yeah. Yeah. I remember because your camera, you did have a camera. You did show it sometimes. And you would show like this little shelf with some movies on it. And look at where you are now. Like everything. <laughs> yeah. It's all the walls. It's wall are filled yeah. With them. yeah. <laughs> I don't believe. Because it, okay, no, when you say grow up, what era of grown, growing up? Was this teenagers or adulthood? Uh, I'd say or teenagers. younger. Like by. Teenager. Within high school. So I wasn't okay. like fully an adult. I was still in, like, I was still in school. But then again, I didn't know you throughout your entire time in New Hampshire. There there was a period where you were gone for a few years. That's right. I was gone. Yeah, because uh, I, I, I left f briefly because I had a kid. No, fuck, man. This is actually really tough. <laughs> T two, two nieces. I've seen one. And three siblings. I've met your brother, mm -hmm. your sister. Okay. So I think the free sibling thing might be true. I think the laundry thing might be true. And I think the two nieces thing is a lie. Are those your final answers? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, that's that's my final answer. You're actually correct. Ah! I have three nieces because I have two with my brother and one with my sister. Oh, so I mean, I've only ever met one. No, have I? No, you've met, you've met two. Uh, I've met. They, they were oh, brought over. Oh, this year. This, that, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah you met. Okay. You met two of them. The third one is with my sister. I have three siblings, so it's my brother and my two sisters. And yes, I did live in a laundry room for a portion of growing up. <laughs> yeah, it threw me off because of the whole. You'd been in the. You, I don't known you for being in the bigger room. <laughs> And you had a small shelf. I remember yeah. distinctly. There was a shelf at the corner, but it was still a laundry room. Yeah, I was. All, I almost said that the laundry room was the lie. I almost thought you, it was. <laughs> you made a good call then. All right, so no, no beans for me. No beans for you, apparently. None. I didn't get to eat any. I think that the sucks. audience is very disappointed. You know what? Eat a bean of your own volition. I have the beans right here. Yeah. So I'm going to pick. I got one. Okay, I don't know what the hell this is, and I'm not gonna look at the box. All right, let's figure out what it is. Oh, oh no! Oh, you got a bad one. <laughs> what was that? What the hell was that? Stink bug. Oh. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Okay, no, I got. I gotta. I gotta have another one. Gotta have another one. All right. <laughs> Yeah, no! Oh my god! <laughs> Old bandage! Ah! <laughs> Fuck, no, gotta try another one, gotta try another one. What's this? Ah! Liver and onion! <laughs> what the f is happening? You're ah! getting all the bad ones! <laughs> Who did you anger? What oh, omnipotent being did you sex, piss off? Really. Alright. Alright, <laughs> nope. That's another old bandage. Wait, you no. know what? Just, just, just order yourself a pizza and wash the taste out. Okay, no, I got one. I got a good one. Oh, uh, no. That was strawberry and banana smoothie. And with that, we have a smooth transition to oh. say thank you all for watching. Uh, oh. Clearly, Will and I are very good friends because we're very good. What, what's the moral lesson here? Uh, tell the truth to your friends. And it doesn't matter because if you know, you, at least you won't be eating your own beans in that case. That sounds like a euphemism, but whatever. If you liked what you saw, click like and subscribe, and share with your friends and family, or maybe your dog. Check out Dear Games Official on Twitter for news, information, and music animations, let's plays, and live streams. I'm Will, and this has been Chris, and we've done true truths and a lie. I want to fucking die because I won, and I had more crappy beans. You hit the good ones! <laughs> this game is f***ing rigged, yo!